Okay, so I know I said I wouldn't make any more PCG videos for a while, uh, but as you can see, I just woke up and I just had the weirdest PCG dream, you guys. <laughs> So the second floor of my house, uh, at, at the, on the ceiling of it, there's an entrance way to um, another level, uh, sort of. It's not really, it, it's not a finished area. Um, if you if you actually go up there, there's nothing but rafters and just fiberglass insulation. So I mean, that's why you can't really explore the whole place because you're just gonna get covered in fiberglass and that's gonna be itchy and it's not gonna be much fun. But because of that, I've never really been able to explore it fully. I mean, I think I might have, I've, I've probably been up there when I was younger, when I was a kid, but I don't really, you know, remember that clearly. The, like, the most recent time I was actually up there is when um, I thought I heard noises. I thought there might have been, like, animals up there, but then I went up there and looked and there was nothing there. That, that sort of, I, I, I think that sort of left, like, a curiosity in, in my head, like, what, what's up there, right? Anyway, so that that's the real life uh, portion of this. So in the dream, for some reason, there was a there was a documentary film crew at my house, and they were like, "We're gonna investigate your house, and we're bringing like this advanced camera equipment, right?" They had like regular cameras, but then they also had like these little little snake cameras, like you know the little ones that you know are on a cord, and it's just a, a micro like a camera like this size. You know, so that you can like stick it up a, a pipe or whatever, and and you know see what's going on up there, that sort of thing. So anyway, there go upstairs, in, like up that uh, up into that area. They they pull down the curtains, and there's like on both sides, both ends of that upper attic space. There's uh stuff like like a desk and drawers and you know stuff and I'm like whoa I'd forgotten this exists in real life it doesn't exist <laughs> as far as I know I don't think there's desks drawers you know cupboards none of that stuff that, um it's like it's just rafters up there but okay so uh, as we go over and we start looking inside the drawers this this space you know it's sort of like it, it has a sense of history to it but there's something not quite right about it um like you're you're looking at the newspaper clippings and they you, you know like yeah inside one of the drawers we're finding you know newspaper clippings but like, you know, they don't quite make sense. Like some of them are from like the 1940s. Some of them are from like, you know, more recently. I don't remember what any of them say, but they were all, but they were sort of weird and like, what, what is that about? Then we open another one of the drawers and we're finding um, art uh, that would, it looks like it was made by me. Like, and it was drawn in like, you know, in crayon or whatever, and it's clearly my style. Uh, it's clearly my art style, but I had no memory of making it. It looked like something I would have made when I was 15. I'm like, okay, so, you know, here's a picture of Link from The Legend of Zelda. Here's a picture of Superman. Here's a picture of Batman. Um, I'm like, all right, cool, cool. I, I must have drawn these and forgotten about it, right? But then we start getting into some, like, you know, it's still in my style. But like as I'm as I'm flipping through the pictures, some of them, even though they're still in my style, are too advanced. They're like they're they're like comic book art of like you know you've got like Venom, which is first of all that's unusual because like I'm not a big huge Marvel. I, I like Marvel, but I'm not a huge like Marvel guy. I've never really like drawn a lot of Venom, you know, or any or any Marvel characters. But not only that, the the reason it's weird is because it's too advanced for me, right? Like the, 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 the art, the, the technique is, 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 is way too advanced. Like I couldn't have drawn something that good, but it's clearly a continuation of my style. So I'm like, whoa, okay, what's going on here? Right now in my head, the theory was maybe what's in these drawers is not from my past, but maybe some of them are from my future or maybe some, or maybe they're from different alternate universes or some universes where I 
you know, spent more time learning, uh, you know, learning art or, you know, like devoted more of my time to that and got better at it, you know? And, you know, like, like in my mind, like each, each picture could be from a different alternate universe or like all of them could be from one alternate universe like that branched off from my life at some point and just ended up here. How'd they get here? I don't know. Um, with the film crew who was here for some reason, um, like digging this stuff up with me, were some people from the PCG community. <laughs> so inside one of the drawers, I found a Zuvac doll, like model, whatever it was, and it was, but it was weird. Something was off about it. Like, like it was sort of like, like it was clearly Zuvac, but it was, but it looked like kind of weird and distorted somehow. And I was like, what is going on? this and I took it and you know once we were done looking around we went back downstairs and um detuned paper was there <laughs> remember that detuned paper was, was there like and he he was uh sitting and and made and recording a a, a a theory video about this and he was saying uh my theory about what what's going on here is I think it's the curse of this place is that it you know shows you the possibilities of what could be and I was like sweet D2 made paper is making a, a theory video about this that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> For those not in the know, Detune Paper is uh, a pretty epic YouTuber. He makes uh, the Detune World series of games. His art is really cool. He has like this dot style. You guys should should check him out. But anyway, so yeah, that theory was epic. Um, so he was like, "Can I borrow the the Zuvac uh, figure?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." Anyway, yeah, so. I mean, that's pretty much the dream. Then I woke up, but I don't know. I just, I just woke up and I was like, I don't know. Like, like there was something so weird. And so we, th like nothing spectacular happened. It was just weird and mysterious and kind of like, like, I just, like there was this curiosity. Like I had to know, you know, I don't know. And, uh, and, uh, but yeah, I, I thought I'd, I'd share that with you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>